from Neriman Hanno from Cairo, Egypt. The Climate Institute has shown that due to thermal expansion, sea levels have rose by 2.5 centimeters in the second half of the 20th century. Uh, in Egypt, climate change will put cities such as Alexandria, Port Said, Matra City, and Irish City in danger. For instance, Alexandria has suffered heavy floods due to uh, climate change, according to the Health Ministry uh, spokesperson Khaled Megahed. The Climate Institute states that a 2.5 centimeters rise in sea level will, will put 60% of Alexandria's population of 4 million below sea level, as well as 56.1% of Alexandria's industrial sector. The World Bank categorizes Egypt as in the top tier of countries in terms of growth in CO2 emissions, noting that Egypt could face a 50% increase in greenhouse gas uh, emissions uh, from 2007 in the electricity sector alone. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, I'd like to call on you to take a serious look on, at the need for Egypt to embrace and commit to wind power and solar energy. Wind power may be the first step to uh, lower carbon emissions. The new, renewable uh, the new Renewable Energy Authority found that Egypt's Red Sea coast is one of the uh, windiest places in the world, and Egypt's national uh, report for Plan Bleu estimates that there is a potential of 20,000 megawatts uh, of wind power from the Red Sea coast alone. Uh, the deserts to e uh, either side of the Nile Valley and Sinai provide land that could potentially be developed for wind power as well. Wind power is costly, but it is one of the most profitable energies on the long run. Uh, also, the geographical position of Egypt makes it well endowed in its solar power resources with a yearly average of 1,900 to 2,600 kilowatts of solar radiation per meter squared according to the NREA. In my opinion, we do not need new ideas as much as we need to apply the ideas we already have. At the end, uh, climate change is a worldwide problem and countries from all over the world should collaborate on taking a step back and save our planet. Thank you very much.